Seeing yet another cool start to the morning as temperatures are sitting in the 50s area wide. Certainly a sign of what's to come over the coming weeks. Of course, fall is going to be arriving in a little under a month. Meteorological fall actually will be arriving on Friday with the first day of September. Temperatures for the most part are running in the mid 50s right now. We're waking up to 56 degrees here in Lexington. That's a pretty popular place to be. 56 also in Frankfurt. 54 as you look out I-64 into Mount Sterling. Also for Danville, Monticello, Somerset this morning. Meanwhile, you're in the upper 50s for Jackson and Moorhead right now. Our Max Track Live Doppler has kind of taken the weekend off, not tracking any activity as well this morning. We're going to keep things quiet through the rest of your Sunday as again, it's just going to be a near repeat performance of yesterday. We may see a few more clouds developing into the afternoon, but it is going to be a rather quick warm up. Again, temperatures this morning starting off in the mid 50s. By lunchtime, we'll tack on about 20 more degrees, and high temperatures will be slightly milder than yesterday as we'll max out in the low 80s as we close out this final weekend of August. The forecast setup really hasn't changed too much from yesterday. However, that Canadian high pressure system that was bringing in that cool, dry air yesterday. Yesterday, tracking a little bit further to the east, now sitting just to the north of Maine. Meanwhile, there is a storm system brewing across the Great Lakes in the upper Midwest. That's something we'll be keeping an eye on as we head into the new work week. Eventually, that's going to be tracking into the Ohio Valley, spraying some scattered showers and thunderstorms. And of course, the other big story is now Tropical Storm Harvey. We'll take a look at that in just one second. But over to our future track again, with high pressure still mainly the dominant weather feature across the eastern third of the U.S. We're going to stay dry today. Again, mostly sunny skies area wide, but eventually that high will be moving out. And then the influence of that, again, storm system across the upper Midwest will be taking hold of our conditions. So gradually overnight, we begin to see more clouds filling in from west to east. So by wake up tomorrow across eastern Kentucky, you may still see clear skies. Meanwhile, along I-75, Partly cloudy and then continuing that trend of more clouds looking across western Kentucky for the morning commute. You will notice also our future track starting to line up with some showers, even embedded thunderstorms by lunchtime. Again, most of the activity stays on the western side of I-75. But gradually into the afternoon, we'll begin to see a few more of those spilling over into the bluegrass and we'll continue to track scattered showers and storms throughout the day on Tuesday. A few of them could even hang on into the start of the day on Wednesday. But this trend of slightly below average temperatures is going to hang on as we can see through the upcoming work week. You notice our average high for this time of the year, 85 degrees, and we're going to be running close to 80 degrees for highs all the way through Friday of this upcoming week. Now, taking a look at Harvey, it has been downgraded and has been weakening over the course of the past day or so. Now sitting in a tropical storm with maximum sustained winds of 45 miles per hour. But what we really want to notice is the movement. It has nearly stalled right now near San Antonio. And you'll notice near Houston, all of that rain continues to funnel in. It's on the eastern side of the storm, which is most usually the most powerful part of the tropical system. And we're seeing still some heavy rain. Even isolated tornadoes will be possible in the Houston area. Now, the latest track, if you were with us last night, you may have noticed it went right up through Texas. Meanwhile, the latest one coming in from the National Hurricane Center does take the storm off to sea. It doesn't look to intensify too much. But still, folks across eastern Texas are going to be continuing to feel the influence of hard RV through late in the upcoming week. Now back here at home, we're really getting spoiled with today. We see mostly sunny skies, high temperatures in the low 80s. Tonight we're down to the 60s with increasing clouds. The day tomorrow starts off dry, but into the afternoon we'll track isolated showers and storms. A better opportunity for that activity comes on Tuesday. We get the cold front out of here by Wednesday, and then it looks like we're going to be settling into a really nice pattern as we look ahead to the start of your Labor Day weekend forecast. Hard to believe it's that time of the year already. I know. Mm -hmm. I was just talking about that yesterday, realizing next weekend is Labor Day. Yeah. Oh, but what gorgeous weather next weekend. We're loving it. Yes.